This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. Warmest greetings to the organizers and participants of the Philippine 10 Ball Open. The local government of Quezon City recognizes the value of engaging the youth of our communities in sports as this teaches them important life values such as discipline, teamwork, and dedication. We also appreciate billiards as an inclusive sport where age or gender are not barriers towards success. We hope that this initiative may encourage more Filipinos billiards that they may add to our prestigious roster of world-class athletes. It is therefore with great pride that I welcome you all to the Philippine 10 Ball Open. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. Hello, this is only the beginning of a great new adventure in Philippine pool. In paving the way, to our filing of a bill to support our Philippine Billiards icon, especially the top of the list, Efren Bata Reyes. It is with great pride that we welcome you all to the first ever Philippine 10 Ball Open. 2022 Philippine 10 Ball Open coming soon. This coming October 24 to 31, presented by Congressman Arnie Tevez and in cooperation with BMPAP. Ang ating entry fee po ay 300 pesos only with a price pool of 1.5 million pesos. Ang ating registration period ay magtatapos ng October 16. Kaya sumali na po kayo kung may balak kayong sumali. Limited lang po ito sa 512 players. For more inquiries, please look for Ms. Nads Ramos at 0956-841-6602. And of course, coming soon to Sharks, Antonio Vice Lining, one of the participants for tonight's main event, takes on Darren Dynamite Appleton in the Battle of East versus West. This is going to be announced soon, so keep it tuned here to the Mecca of Pool Sharks for more details on this blockbuster matchup. And of course, coming soon to Sharks as well, Darren Dynamite Appleton will also have a chance to take on one of the legends of Philippine pool, Francisco Django Bustamante, in another showdown featuring the best of Asia versus the best of Europe. And this match being brought to you by Bugsy Promotions, Hard Time Sports Bar, and of course, the Mecca of Pool Sharks. And of course, we have the Fire Dragon, Chang Jun Lin, and the Kingpin, Baseth Mokaibat. Two fine players from the Asia Pacific will square off. In this blockbuster encounter, so we'll be announcing the details right here on Sharks as soon as we have the final details. And the same as well, Fire Dragon Chang Jun Lin will square off against the Black Tiger Carlo Biado in this battle of two world champions. That's also coming soon here on Sharks. So keep it tuned for that update. And finally, the Money Kings square off as Fire Dragon Chang Jun Lin will also have his hands to take in taking on the RoboCup, Dennis Orculio. This is another match that you'll see here only on the Mecca of Pool Sharks. So keep it tuned here for updates. And this is it, partner. This is yeah. it. Grabe. Second day po ng ating one-on-one -on -one between Antonio Lining and Albert Espinola. So last night, we ended up with a scoreline of 25-19. Tapos, nung pinakaumpisa nito, nagkaroon pa ng 11 to 2. Diba? Wow, 11 yes. to 2. Tapos, nahabol ni, uh, yes. ni Albert Espinola hanggang na nag-end tayo dito sa gantong scoreline. Well, that's true. I mean, I mean although we, we already know the quality mm -hmm. that uh, 
that um, Antonio Lini has that Nicoy will always yeah. bring to the table. Mm-hmm. But so far, um, see Albert Espinal has also shown a lot of that tenacity, a lot of that toughness that toughness, he, he, yes. he refuses that uh-huh. like that like uh, like his namesake. He refuses to let the little things bother him, and that's why. A, a six rack lead is actually not that big in this kind of an event. Yeah. yeah. Tama ka dyan. Race to 75 to. Anything could happen talaga. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. So just for a quick reminder for everyone, this is a nine ball encounter. So we'll be playing under standard world nine ball rules. Uh, so this will be, of course, a very interesting match to see here as it has been so far alam mo bigla ko naisip nung sinabi mo kanina about Albert Espinola na little things na hindi siya na, na natitinag sa mga maliliit na bagay parang kalabaw talaga na parang uh, dinadapuan man ng langaw hindi siya natitinag or na ano that's that's that sounds exactly that sounds exactly like him that yung pagsabi mo kanina yun na imagine ko eh. okay. actually I was also thinking of that too because I've always thought of yung Carabao the Kalabao as mm-hmm. ano siya yun nga hindi nagpapa dala sa kung ano problema very calm very placid yeah. Very docile, pero, pero malakas. Pero malakas kapag binigyan ng opportunity yan, which is why it's a national symbol here in the Philippines. That's uh, right. Because it's a well-loved um, workhorse on the farm, lalo na pag sa mga farms na maliliit. That's because, right. And of course, that's why it has such an iconic place in Philippine culture. So uh, the black and uh, the black carabao showing us a lot of toughness here, but. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, looks like uh, Antonio Lin is going to have a little work to do after he got himself into that spot. Seeking so cover behind the seven. Placed it nicely. Yes. Beautiful. That that's the kind of play we've come to expect from Antonio Vice leaning. You do not see anything. You do not see any wasted motion with him. That's just, right. Just take the shot and make it happen. And now, Espinola will take his chance with this. Wow, there you go, guys. Antonio Lining with another win. Showing us what he can do when he gets that opportunity. And despite the little difficulty with that five, look at where he managed to get himself in position. Ito yung nabenta. Yes. Beautiful pot on the five. Nothing but pocket there. 
this is this is a player that a lot of the younger ones can learn from because definitely he has such cool he's so cool and calm that you have to learn and that's why um Albert Espinola who'll be here to break I think um he will prov- he provides an interesting challenge for um Nicoy leaning here and we hope that at this break he will show us some more of that great talent that he's got that's right so next to break it's Albert Espinola So kanina parang nabanggit na nagkakwentuhan tayo about dun sa material ng balls na ginagamit before. Right, right. And ngayon ko lang actually na ano yan, nalaman na parang flammable pala yung cell, may celluloid na na ano. Balls. That's okay. right. Yeah, uh, because this came up dun sa the last match I hosted which was I think last Thursday uh-huh. if I'm correct. Uh, kasi nangyari was I was talking with I was to keep the match going I was trying to uh, I was also chatting with the people on Facebook, like yeah. the usual guests. Natin, like said, Jason Foster, Trish Durbin, Trish Durbin yeah, uh, Bang Ambo, Sina Anthony Den. Yeah. And the thing was, um, I think one of them brought up the subject of exploding billiard balls. I think it was Anthony Den uh-huh. who brought, brought up. And then I mentioned it that um, just so you know, the reason the reason was that when they came up with a replacement material for uh, bowl, for for billiard balls. Because billiard balls initially were made of ivory, which came from the elephants. Yeah. So obviously, because of environmental issues, and ethical yeah. issues, they had to look for a material. And one of the materials that they eventually came up with was celluloid, which is a, a form of plastic. Mm-hmm. And celluloid is technically a... It's If celluloid sounds familiar to some people, it's because it's the same material used in some film. films. Yeah. So that's you can see in the film reel, that's mm-hmm. celluloid material. Ang disadvantage lang nga lang po ng celluloid is it's flammable, flammable. Which is why sa mga film studios, they're very careful to store it to protect it from fire. And because it's flammable, if you hit the balls hard enough, often enough, minsan may tendency mag-spark. na talaga mag- mag-spark and mag-explode oh. or get on fire. <laughs> Kaya very ano siya eh. It's, it's actually a very interesting story when I found up, when I read about it. And... Actually, and celluloid was not even the first material that they tried to make billiard balls with. I believe um, at one point when they they had a competition in the like the 18th century to replace billiard balls for ivory, somebody came up with a plastic called bakelite, which bakelite. is bakelite. It's yeah, it's uh, one of the first plastics. It's a hard setting plastic, similar in texture. Yeah, sa mga, narinig ko nang bakelite, pero as as ferrule material. Yes, it's that's the material they yeah. used. The thing was that it didn't win the competition. I think because it was not quite hard enough. Because ang kailangan mo sa billiard ball very is dense balls very talaga. dense, very impact resistant. Impact resistant, yes. Yeah. Which is why now, if you're wondering, uh, the high quality balls like the Aramith uh, blacks yeah. that we use here are made from phenolic resin, which is a synthetic material, which is designed na kahit ibreak mo, isargo mo yan, kahit ibato mo yan, it will not chip or crack or Start breaking apart right away. Uh-huh. That's what. That's why you pay money for balls like this, that's and that's right. why. <laughs> mahal lang mga ganyan mahal bola. Lang talaga, but <laughs> it's worth it. I mean, if you are going to get yourself a billiard table, you might as well get invest in a in good Ar- set of balls. Ar- yeah. Said, yeah, because um, I remember yata yung mga balls that my grandmother had at dun sa billiard table niya uh-huh. sa ano. They were the cheaper ones, and ang the chip na. Easily get chipped yes. off, nagagas gas. Yes. Yan, so my dad had to actually buy a replacement set like after a few years. Okay. <laughs> anyway, here, here comes the Black Carabao for the break. And this break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. So there we go. And um, question is oh, yeah, I think we see a blockage here in terms of the nine preventing him from getting a shot on the one. So I guess push out, play safe. That might be the opportunities here. Ayan mo yung ganto. Gantong klasing situation. Sobrang nag-ihinayang sila na kung wala lang yung webe dito, alam nilang ubus na at puntos na nila to. Right. And that's why they're taking all the... That's why they're taking the chances as they come. In this case... A push-out. A push-out. And of course, as with the push-out in, any, in the rule... The player who is offered the who has to take the shot after the push out can get can give it back. May option dito si si Vice kung ibabalik dito kay ano kay Albert. 
or he can take it. So, uh, like, in that case there, you saw it. He gave it back. Passed it back. And that's why you mga pool players who use the push out, they always have to consider it as a shot that they could also handle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Just in case. That they have to have a backup plan, so to speak. So let's see kung anong nasa utak dito ni Albert Espinola. That's yeah. Bad, that's not actually not a bad backup plan right there. So I think partially obstructed yata siya ng six. So yeah, there we go. So he's gonna force Decoy to kick from the rail, from side rail. Oh. Okay, totally missing the one ball. And a oh, rare uh, miscue from Nikoi Lining as he he definitely went wide here. Wow. Wow, very close. I mean, he had the chance to hit it on either side and not quite. Well, that's going to be ball in hand here. Yung mga ibang dapat maintindihan ng viewers natin. Kasi isipin nila, oh, I could do that kick any day. Pero may specific kasi na hit na hinahanap yung player para magkaroon ng resulta. That's true, yes. Diba? I think the one thing a lot of uh, amateur players and even beginners forget is that like in pool, the speed at where you're at the speed at how you're hitting the rail matters. Kasi yes. if you hit it softer off the rail, you go wider. it'll go wider. That's because... Uh, I think I heard the physics works like because when you hit it at a slower speed, it gives the cushion more time to affect the ball. Mm-hmm. So mas wide ang lalabas kaysa if you hit it hard to the cushion. Baba on the cushion muna, and then it gives you a narrower angle. Right. So speed is as important as the angle itself. Pag uh, back shots or kicks. Kaya in that case, yung kay Antonio Lining didn't quite get there, but that's right. At least the Black Carabao showing us the stuff that he's made of here and um, he hopes to close in and get to 20 racks with the end of this. Two balls away to cut Antonio's lead to just five, uh, just six rather, six, six wins. There you go. And we now are at 26 to 20. And Antonio Lining still holding a six rack lead here at this juncture. That's coming off that uh, that foul that was called. And the Black Carabao showing us just how to get it done. And while we're at it, let's go over to our Facebook side. So Louis Per says, Ayun na, shout out po watching from Jeddah, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Samantala hin ang off. Good luck, players. Go lightning leaning. One of his many monikers dito. Yeah, we're and gonna get back to that. And uh, ito po, si Antonio Lining po ang sasargo sa susunod na rack. Secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And if you want to be a member of the Sharks family of talent, just contact. Mr. Alex Parker at 0916-466-4695. Again, that's 0916-466-4695. Look for Mr. Alex Parker. All screenings will be held at the Hard Times Sports Bar here at Timog Avenue, Barangay South Triangle, Quezon City. So where are you waiting for? If you have the skills, then bring it on here at um, the Mecca of Pool Sharks. And uh, we hope to see you here very soon. And going back here, well, we got a good one. Let's go check out the streams here. So, Dan Benarmino saying, yeah, he's saying Dan Benarmino says, experience-wise, lamang, lamang na lamang si Lining, pero hindi rin naman nilalayo ang 
yung galing ni Nuno. I believe Nuno is... Nuno Antipolo. Yeah, yeah, Nuno. That's true. Albert Espinola. And Gary Villegas says Ray. he's watching from Iligan City. So, hope you're enjoying this game, Gary. Thanks for watching. And of course, Doug Hall. Thank you for watching. That break is brought to us by Rob Commercial. So, Doug Hall also mentioned that... Uh, Levan Cortesa is doing good here in the U.S. I believe it. I, I'm not sure if it's the U.S. Open there already. Um, mm -hmm. I guess we can just ask Doug to confirm if it's uh, which tournament um, Levan is taking part in. But looks like a good spread here. Oh no! Just as you said, big lang uh, <laughs> blade dito. Yep. But he's still lucky. Eight he's balls in the way. Yep. So he still he still has to for he still ha he's still forcing Albert to uh, go for the kick. Oh uh, well, looks like he's going for the jump. For the actually. jump here. He's got to be careful though because. Uh, Combination. Oh, that Ooh. was why. That was yeah. just. That's the problem with the jump. What's the challenge with the jump cue? It's very hard to. Um, hold it to hold the shot straight the mechanics of the shot are so unique that's right now you have to really come up with a lot we have a lot of skill a lot of practice just to be able to pull off a jump shot madaming factors talaga yung tirang natural mahirap na yeah Mas lalo pa yung papatalunin mo yung pato. So, so true uh doug hall saying the sand cast sand castle in new jersey and the u.s open is coming up now so Ah, well I, well, I don't know what to watch out for. So, <laughs> looks like we're going to see if Carlo Biado can defend the title that he won. That's right, last year. Yeah. So, so it's Sandcastle. I guess it's a Sandcastle hosted event in New Jersey. Okay. Thank you for that information, Doug Hall. And let's see this. Oh, again, pulling out the jump cue. There we go. Oh. He's hoping he can hide it, but that looks like that looks like he just opened it. And over here on Facebook, um, Vince Allison Espinola says, "Good luck, pa." So that sounds like um, that sounds that sounds like um, other. Are you thinking partner yata to ni ano ni Albert? I'm not sure. Uh, baka daughter, or daughter ni possibly, Albert. Yeah. yeah, wasn't sure. I couldn't tell from the picture, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, great, great seeing that you're watching, um, you're, you're, that you're supporting Albert. We hope that uh, you're enjoying this match. Aba, lagi naman talagang supportive si Vince Allison dito. Lagi ko nakikita kapag laging may salang si Albert, lagi silang nakasupporta dito sa ating live stream. That's true. I think earlier I thought I saw si Chona. I think yung may bahay yata yan ni Chona Galve. Aha, uh -huh. Chona Galve. She also se sent her support through the live chat earlier while uh, John Hall was competing. So, kaya naman pala nanalo tong si ano, di ba? Yeah. Ay, dai, si Patrick pala yung nanalo. Si Patrick, Patrick nanalo. Yeah. But, but John Hall, but even Maganda yung pinakita ni John Hall. Yeah, but yeah. well, John Hall um, seemed to struggle a bit. Um, I guess it wasn't his day lang talaga. But, yeah, may ganun talagang araw. But I'm but he's won before and I think it would be surprising if he won again soon. And there we go. Let's hope he gets it to the six. Very well done. And with that, um, Antonio Lining pulling in front by seven racks. Uh, that was the uh, miss from earlier, but he did get himself sheltered. And as we can see here, quite the encounter today. 
Okay, so ngayon medyo nagsa-struggle pa rin si Albert Espinola pero mali natin, parang diesel lang, di ba, na bigla na lang siyang bubulusok dito. Ironically, that's one of the nicknames that they gave, I think, to uh, to Nicoy Lining as well. Uh-huh. Because I think I heard this from Aris, I think. He said that uh, he's like Diesel din kasi mabagal din siya mag-start off. Yes. But once he catches his momentum, ang hirap tuloy, ng tuloy na pigiling. Yes. <laughs> and Albert Espinola is up to break. And we will see what he plans to do in this coming rack. So we'll be right back. Secret Weapon of Champions Battle Tested Engineered to Perfection The Tip of the Spear Core Q-Tips Available at Hard Time Sports Bar Oh, and check this out. Uh, we got a tag team match. Parang wrestling na wrestling yes, ito. Yes. So, oh, parang mixed doubles pero sa, ano, sa level of game, of level yes, of play. Yes, yes. So, dalawang, uh, ay, dalawang amateur, dalawang pro. Right, right. Pinagsama dito. So, basically, this is like, oh, so I think you mean like a pro-am, eh, no? Professional amateur. Pro-amateur yeah. tag team talaga, no? Yes. And uh, this is a very interesting pairing. Panday Jericho Banyares, we know how good he is. Take and teams up with the assassin James Lim against another premier player in the Cobra Jeffrey Ignacio. And as he partners with um, Ephraim Cruz of Mandaluyong, this match coming up brought to you by Bugsy Promotions, Saksi, Hard Time Sports Bar, and the Mech of Pool Sharks. And that's coming up. From October 10 to 12. First Aling. time ever sa kasaysayan ng Sharks na makikita nating maglalaban-laban ng amateurs and pros. Yes, because I think the previous matches were all break. pros, pros, and amateurs, amateurs. 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 Yes. That's right. That yeah. break is brought to us by Rapa. Wow, this is a nice break he got this time. He needs that two ball to stop now. Oh, well. He can go for the, well, it looks like it has enough angle to go in. Or a bank might actually be a safer option. Bank to the side, possibly. Pwede rin yung cut. Cut on the two and go around. Pero oh, yun. He went for the bank and that might and that might be it there if he... If, um, well. Pero right choice yun. Tamang tira yung ginawa dun ni Albert kasi it, uh, you're gonna hold the cue ball kasi para sa three. That's true. So, yung bank shot na yun sa side, yun yung magpapahold sana. That's true. That's true. The only issue there was, of course... He missed it. He missed it. So, And again, that's where um, the speed of the ball counts because it's possible that if he might have hit it slightly Sl- weaker, yeah. maybe it could have the bounce would have been a wider angle that could have gone in. Less space would have done it, yeah. So, we're looking, of course, at... Antonio Lining and I remember I think I mentioned this he was one of the first players I met when I first came here for the interview uh-huh. and um, he was very nice very very kind very um, but he had a smile to share si, like, uh, no? si Nicoy. I mean Nicoy he, was, he, he had he had a, he was very I, I mean he tried he would seem very accommodating and I think he made everything a lot easier so when the interview came I felt more relaxed ah, because of siya him. ba yung kasama mo sa interview ka, baka ano ah na pagkakamala mong si Aris ah, no, no 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 <laughs> it's actually it's actually Nicoy because okay. I remember he was um, in the hall where the hallway where uh, we, where they were waiting I think for their where they were waiting for someone and then uh-huh. you know kausap ko si Nicoy I actually told him thanks for what you do for uh, keeping everyone entertained here and he was just very 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 warm very ge- very kind i'm always going to remember that because he was the first uh, pro i actually came across here yeah for those who don't know antonio lining personally he's a different personality off the table sobrang maraming kwento joker S- joker yes yes the, that's, that's the least i expected from uh, antonio lining kasi pag titingnan mo siya 
para sa seryoso nakakunot ng kilay sa mesa pero pag off the table grabe parang favorite tito mo parang yes ganun. that's true wow that's it that's where that's what you get when you have Antonio leaning on your side he will give you some great shots just like that and well again we looked at that uh, very good it was a good plan like you said just the execution didn't come out quite like he had hoped that's right Okay, so it's another win for Antonio Lining. Ngayon, ocho na ang kanyang uh, lead dito over Albert Espinola. And Eight tracks. Yes, and of course, Jimmy Inosanto Ang from Facebook says, Good evening, Sharks, and we hope you're having a good evening too, Jimmy. And coming up next, Antonio Lining from Oriental Mindoro will be up to break right after this. This is a new world of pool home of legends a battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions a stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best welcome to sharks. And of course, um, the one-on-one -on -one match continues here, as we can see here. Um, still an eight-point lead, an eight-track lead, definitely. And um, of course, um, Andrea Chua over here on Facebook says he's a super nice guy, full support to Lining, which is definitely which further proves what we have, what we've said about him. Always a nice guy, That's always right. a great guy. And wow. um, Dan Bellarmino was actually suggesting, baka magkaroon na din ng trio in the future two boys one girl gaya nung napanalunan ni Labiado Amit and Chuo which is actually a good idea yeah alam niyo naman guys dito sa Sharks anything is possible kapag narinig ng management natin na gustuhan yung idea uh, pwede natin gawing into reality yan and that break brought to you by Ropa Commercial and uh, looks like an open shot on that one yeah broke dry and open shot on the one ball Actually, you said you mentioned earlier that uh, we've also done four on four matches, like yeah, uh, we've north had, versus south. Yes, parang ganun. pero five sila, eh, five. Yeah, um, and I think and I've, uh, there's actually a type of match sa wrestling. It's called a an elimination team match where, for example, the sta the tactics like this. You say you have four on four or five on five. Uh -huh. So what happens is you have if let's say so each. It's elimination, so that means that you have to eliminate each member one by one. So you have to, let's say, pin or make one member submit, and then they can go. It can become like four on five, three on five, okay. or four on four. Hanggang isa na lang matira. Hanggang isang team na lang matira, and one entire team is eliminated. Mm. It was actually an idea that I was floating. I think with one of the production guys, okay. na sab I said, "Gawin natin parang Survivor Series style na match." Sabi ko na literal na. If one team loses, let's say a rack, they lose a player, and then they do that until they carry on. Hangat, meron pa silang player. Yes, I I just thought of it as a possible. It might be just a gimmick match, perhaps just for the fun of it. But you know, um, like you said, anything here could happen. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, I think Shane Van Boning was even saying when he competed in the ten man ring challenge, he said he'd never competed. In that kind of match before, and it was actually he actually fun. won that event. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think he won the eight straight before he had to before being stopped, and then he took the next opportunity at the table. Yeah, he lost the turn first round, and then nung pagbalik niya naka eight straight wins. Yes, so that was that was how interesting it was, and um, I believe you even had Kyle Perry from the U.S. over also recently, yeah. which was very fun because. Uh, we get to see a lot of international flavor, a lot of international talent That's here. That's right. It's fun here. And Pero sa case naman ni Perry, uh, Kyle Perry, 
Yes. Ano siya eh, uh, bisita lang siya dito sa bansa. He's True. actually a businessman, I think, or maybe an engineer. He was an engineer, yes, engineer. I remember, yes. Oh, yeah. So, all business siya dito sa Philippines, pero ito yung pang ano niya, pang tanggal stress niya. And he did say he enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah. we hope that if, Kyle, if you're hearing us right now, we hope that um, you come back here soon and uh, we'll, we'll be sure to have that table ready for you. So, looks like Albert Espinola looking good now. He got this in the bag, yeah. Yes, I think we have a possible. So, he'll be hacking away at that uh, eight rack lead, bringing it down to seven. Basically, ganito yung nagiging story sa mula pa lang ng day one natin. Hahambol si uh, Albert Espinola pero patuloy pa rin si Antonio Lining na dumederecho. Right. It's definitely it's definitely a um, it's definitely been a bit of a seesaw nga talaga na one player gets momentum, then loses it and then the other player gets it and then it's it's still it's still a very anyone's game match yeah. but of course um, Antonio Lining using his veteran experience to get the little advantages like uh, like in the defensive plays and all that. So we're going to see if um, Albert has a plan to overcome that later in this match. Okay. So there you go, guys. A win for Albert Espinola now with 21 racks. And next to break... I think it's gonna be Albert Espinola. Si Albert ang sasargo dito, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And we'll see what Albert can do with this break. See if he can cut into that lead any further right after this. Warmest greetings and participants of the Philippine 10 Ball Open. The local government of Quezon City recognizes the value of engaging the youth of our communities in sports as this teaches them important life values such as discipline, teamwork, and dedication. We also appreciate billiards as an inclusive sport where age or gender are not barriers towards success. We hope that this initiative may encourage more Filipinos to train for billiards that they may add to our prestigious roster of world-class athletes. It is therefore with great pride that I welcome you all to the Philippine 10 Ball Open. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. Hi there, Dan Bellarmino watching with us. And may katanungan siya dito, any plans for Jason Shaw? Well, we have no idea. Last time, actually, na kasama na sa comment section. And he said, well, he's out to play. Depende na lang kung uh, iimbitayin siya talaga. Oh, we get that. And that break was brought to you by Ropa Commercial. And we have to consider that uh, Jason Shaw, as a competitive player, uh, has a pretty busy schedule, I'm sure, uh, yeah, between the new flights. Yeah, like uh, he has to. I mean, let's be honest. Um, he has to do a lot of travel. He has to do a lot of preparation. As it is, the fact that we were able to get a lot of these uh, big names like Shane Van Boning, like um, Darren Appleton coming up, like Chan mm -hmm. Jun Lin. The fact that we can get all these big names is already a huge deal That's because right. a lot of them, I'm sure prioritize uh, their commitments like um, I want to compete in the big money tournaments and all that that's right and I, for them to even consider this I, I know it's I know it's exciting as a fan personally as someone who's loved pool for a long time 
it's good. It's nice to see, but um, a lot of stuff is up in the air. In the end, in the end, the management can only do so much, and we hope that the management can do something. So, just keep your breath. Hold your. Just keep. Just keep to the sharks. We might have updates. That's right. So bottom, bottom line, talaga kailangan sumubay bay sila every night. Exactly, because you never know. I mean, like you said, we had Kyle Perry. Kind of, he was kind of a last minute thing who got in. Yeah. And um, I mean, I think a lot of people were even saying Shane Van Boning might not, when Shane Van Boning will be here, and he was here recently. Yeah. And um, now we have Chang Jun Lin, we have uh, Darren Appleton. So, again, it's it's like again it's again here at Sharks anything can happen. That's right. First we had uh, David Alcaide from Spain. Yes. And sumunod dun si Copeny. Yes. I think I think a lot of people are still talking about how Copeny really put on a show here when he was mm-hmm. here and I and I was kind of uh, I was and I was thinking oh I wish I was able to watch his matches but speaking of which you can watch our archive of some of our uh, great matches here right on YouTube and I think on Facebook all well, it's easier I think to find them on YouTube yeah so since YouTube is really more better designed for for uh, video, video yes yeah. But yeah, but who knows? We we might suddenly be announcing here Jason Shaw versus um, Dennis Arcolio or something like that. Yeah, we could have that. Huge possibility. We'll just see. We'll just see what happens from there. But for now, um, let's enjoy this. And well, well, he was hoping to get the cubo behind the four and eight, pero ito nagcreate dito ng cluster. Yes. In the form of the four ball and the eight ball. And it's an issue that Albert's going to have to solve sooner or later. That's right. To be have a chance of winning this rack. Just needs to clear the seven. He's good. Now the real problem comes up. The thing what do is, you do with this? Yes. The thing is, uh, how will he get to the four and eight? Because I'm looking at the angle here. I mean, he will get around... He will hit the bottom rail for sure, but yeah. and it looks like on the other hand, I'm looking at the angles here and it looks like he might be able to get the four into that opposing corner pocket. He might be able to get it in, but that's going to be more challenging because it's gonna be challenging. Yeah, probably off the eight, Diva. Yes. Because the eight certainly gonna corner. move. Because the eight will move after this most likely. Oh, he went for it. Oh, I think he got. Did he get away with it? Well, that was just pure safety. Yeah, behind those balls na nasa kabilang region nung ano nung mesa. Right. So it looks like Antonio Leaning might have the window to get that, but it's a long shot. And we know the story with long shots. Pwede nang ibalik dito yung pato sa likod ng mga bola. But he went for a bang. Oh, there we wow. go. Wow. That's what, that's what we came to see here. Oh, amazing shot. Well, if you're leading uh, at least eight racks or seven, you have the confidence. Kaya mong i-afford yung ganong klaseng tira exactly. dito. He, to- he, he basically saw the opening and said, let's do this. And... That's what he did. Damn. Wow. Oh, oh no, he hit the eight. Oh, uh, he I think hit he's still the okay. eight, and um, that might have. And we'll see it here. Very well done there. On he's double point. checking on the seven. Yep. The issue, you know, he might still have a window here. Just make sure to be as precise as he can about it. Uh, there, there you go. Yes. Antonio Lini showing us here and um, Dan also says hoping to see Jason Shaw Aloysius Yap and Naoki Oi nice match talaga sila kay Carlo Biado keeping my fingers crossed and we will have our fingers crossed too as well because uh, we want because those those caliber of players that's something we'll love to, we'd love to see okay so leaning with 29 racks so we're going to see of course this, ra- this match continues, and as we see it here, that was the prelude to what Antonio Leaning had planned here. 
and see that, the angle. That was actually not a bad leave na ano, galing kay Albert Espinola pero yung bank shot talaga, <laughs> yun yung nagdala kay, uh, yeah. kay Antonio. Agreed. Probably an amateur might have thought of I'll just play defense again but yeah. Antonio Lini says no, I see an opening and I think that's where his <laughs> veteran experience really comes into play. Yeah. Seeing the opportunities that other players have and speaking of which, He's the next to break. Called Vice is right. That's break. That's right. And we'll be right back after this. Bustamante versus Appleton coming soon here at Sharks, the mecca of pool. This is going to be another great one. East versus West. Ikana. East versus West, Kasi that's right. Francisco Django Bustamante representing the East and Darren Dynamite Appleton representing the West. Yeah. This cannot get any more exciting. This is a match I would love to see. Just, I'm. It's almost as exciting to me as um, the Orcolio Van Boni match, which I kept talking about, hyping uh, in the weeks leading up to it, and um, mm -hmm. this looks to be just as, as good, exciting if as not uh, more exciting. Yeah. I mean, we. I mean, admittedly, uh, Django is not as uh, young as he was, but he still is a very, very dangerous player on that table. No doubt, he's still no someone doubt. you don't want to mess with. Okay. And we are going break. to see Antonio Lining up next to break. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. I don't hear anything. Looks dry from here. Or to quote, or to quote um, Jason Foster, one of our regulars, three camels. Three camels. Three camels <laughs> emoji, yes. He always uses the emoji, the camel emoji, when someone gets a dry break. And I kind of get, yeah. Oh, very good there. Albert Espinola saw the combination and said, let's go. Yeah, he was greeted with a 1-7 combination. Got it to drop. Good control. It's a very nice... This is a very nice rack here. I think this might be his opportunity to cut into that um, lead mm -hmm. still a long way to go for Albert Espinola right the good thing for him is this is a uh, race to three it's a race to 75 was that correct yes so 75 in total for so day two I think uh, whoever gets to 50 right so f that means that he has a lot of room to a lot of room to keep working towards that but of course, against Antonio Lining, he has to be extra careful because Antonio Lining, as we saw, he started making a mini run of his own and he got some serious momentum behind him. So we will see Albert Espinola show us the stuff that he's made of. that he gets his 22nd win so he cuts that eight rack lead down to just seven and albert espinola seemingly relieved that he's finally getting his momentum back so he starts off with that great one seven combo and then from there 
he just dissects this like a surgeon. Surgical strike on every ball right here. And up next to break is Albert Espinola, the Black Carabao, will strut his stuff in this next track after this. Hello, this is only the beginning of the venture in Philippine pool. In paving the way to our filing of a bill to support our Philippine billiards icon, especially the top of the list, Efren Bata Reyes. It is with great pride that we welcome you all to the first ever Philippine 10 Ball Open. And the 2022 Philippine 10 Ball Open takes off, presented by Congressman Arnie Teves and the BMPAP from October 24 to 31. The entrance fee is just 300 pesos, but guess what? If you finish in the top 64, you will have a share of the prize pool worth 1.5 million pesos. So we will have a double knockout format to be followed by single knockout once you reach the top 64. Registration is until October 16, 2022, and we only have 512 slots. So for inquiries, contact Ms. Nods Ramos at 0956 Eight four one six six zero two. That's zero nine five six eight four one six six zero two. This is, uh, this is sponsored, of course, by the BMPAP, Bugsy Promotions, Hard Time Sports Bar, and of course, the Mecca of Pool Sharks. Ang layunin ng tournament na to. Hindi lang ane. Hindi lang sa for the sake of karon lang ng Philippine Open. Uh, we are looking for new talents. Exactly, because. The talent pool. I mean, I remember. I think we had years ago the Philippine Nine Ball Open, which was yeah. Motolite, Motolite Philippine Nine Ball Open, and it was in that. That was actually the tournament where I got introduced to Nikoi Lining. Okay, that was where I saw him. I think he was up against Antonio Gaga Gabica mm -hmm. that time. So, uh, as I remember, uh, I actually saw how good uh, Nikoi's talent was back then when I saw that, and from that point on. Um, Whenever we have these local tournaments, I would always look out and see who's the new talent who's going to make us proud. And from there, dami na. I mean, dami talaga, and I think and I think the ten ball open is yet another opportunity to bring out the finest pool players that the in Philippines the country. Has. So That's right. I'm, I mean, it would be lovely if we could see the next Efren, the next Django, the next um, the next uh, Amang Parika in this one gonna see a lot of great players up and looks like the two ball is an opportunity here for the black carabao over at facebook by the way quick shout out to pa shout out mga bossing from raymond agbisit gab's billiard hall over in rosario la union well, rosario la union well to all those who are watching over at gab's billiard hall um Thank you. Maraming salamat po at sana nag-enjoy po kayo dito sa Mecca of Pool. Mabuhay Sharks. kayong lahat mga taga La Union. And Abner Estender. Ayan, kasama din natin ngayon. He's predicting a score of 75 to 60 when it ends. Um, there's, an, there's one question though. He didn't say who's 75 and who's 60. Mm -hmm. Ayun, yun ang katanungan. <laughs> yeah, but... And actually, uh, La Union, I heard, is a great surfing spot. So, maganda yeah. siyang for surfing. That's why, uh, before, I think before Shargao and, and I think even before Baler became popular surfing spots, La Union was was the, was popular for that. was always yeah. popular for that. So, I think the waves there, the conditions are perfect for surfing. So, if you're looking for a surfing spot, La Union is always a great place to go. Or even just playing good beaches. Have you tried surfing? Um I, I was supposed to, but I was more worried that the waves would embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> Ako never pa kaya nako kung magkakaroon ng pagkakataon, susubukan ko. I'm sure you. I'm sure it will be. It will, I'm sure it will be fun. Um, like I said, the best spots we have in the country include La Union, uh, Aurora, Baler Auroras. Yeah. So a good place, and also uh, Shargao, of course, the most Shargao. famous one where. 
uh, I believe for Andy Eigenman uh, lives with her you know, with her family and uh, she's the daughter I believe of Jacqueline Jose yeah. yes so, yeah, so pati yung nag-asawa siya ng, ano, eh, ng surfer yeah si Filmar Alipa yeah. Yeah. I think that's I'm not sure if they got married or if they're engaged uh, but yeah and I think and I remember Nadine Luster also used to be regular there oh that was a nice kick and I believe Nadine Luster is a regular there too and fortunately great kick there that's a, a creative use of uh, the the spin and the speed of the ball because that allowed him to bend it around and now that's a difficult four very close it's gonna be a challenge here he's gonna be using the nine still well good good defensive strategy well he has left a jump let's see if uh, Antonio goes for the jump I think he's I think he already has it oh yeah he's definitely calling going for it going airborne with a four. Oh, that was at least it's a legal hit but look check where this the out. going check this out yes it goes <laughs> <laughs> well um well it was a good shot but um but definitely not what he was not planning. intended of course but yeah. sa larong nine ball pe pwede po yan. anything goes in nine ball as far as pocketing the balls it's almost like anything goes here Oh, it looks like uh, Abner finally clarified it. 75 si Nicoy leaning. Well, yeah. we get you. We get you. Yes, wala pong call shots dito dahil nine ball po. Mr. Yes. Dan Bellarmino. Yes, that's Happy correct. Happy viewing. Yes, that's correct. Under the international rules for nine ball, which are being observed, this is not a call shot game. Unlike ten ball, which is in fact call shot. That's right. So, kung mache, kung, so kung makachamba ka, like what happened earlier, it's counted as a legal and valid shot. Actually, I, I have a feeling na inimbento yung 10 ball sa, dahil sa mga nagre-reklamo na, ay, swerte kasi dahil, ano eh, mga ganong nagre-reklamo. I think so swerte. too. I think so too. That's actually why my personal preference is I tend to prefer 10 ball personally. Yeah, para wala it's, nang ano, diba? Wala nang chamba, oh. wala nang wala nang ay ano, swerte mo lang, diba? Yeah. Wala silang masasabi doon. You called the shot and yeah. then you executed. So, yeah. That would make them shut up. Of That's true. Syempre. <laughs> <laughs> I I would I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like Antonio Lining again taking control with that rack and he gets up to 30 to 22 and we'll see here uh, the shot which set up the mystical jump shot of Antonio leaning as you'll see it here all the way to that corner well obviously it's a fluke pero yes. syempre alam naman natin na legal yan sa nine yes. ball and uh, no worries uh, to Dan Bellarmino uh, no worries we're just glad to hear we we actually appreciate your comments we welcome them and we hope that um and we hope and we hope that uh things get sorted dun sa side mo uh, because it's like he's waiting for something which is why napa comment din siya but it's good to hear that i see i see so okay. and then antonio leaning will be continuing his run hoping to continue his run with the break that's coming up next after this Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And the Fire Dragon Shang Jun Lin of Taiwan squares off against the Kingpin, Paseth Mokaibat of the Philippines. This is going to be a star-studded match that you will see only at the Mecca of Pool Sharks. So keep it tuned here for updates. And as we mentioned, because this is a three-day 
match race to nine uh, 975 for nine in nine ball format there's no call ball on this shot so uh, it, it, we understand completely it can be confusing because as we, we also we have both 10 ball and 9 ball here. Yeah, so, so it's very easy to saka, get confused if sanay you don't know. It's very easy to get confused if you professional players that na 10 ball yung laro. That's true, mm-hmm. yes. Because normally with a match of this level, if these two, I would have actually expected 10 ball. But ten since ball. the oh. decision was made to make it eight, uh, 9 ball, That's right. so hopefully it would be a bit more free-flowing, a bit faster yeah. ang pace, I think. Great! Well, tama naman. El, ang base talaga ng ano natin pagtapos ng rock. That break is brought to us by Robo Commercial. And the one ball, well, no shot there. So that's an opportunity possibly for a defensive play here. Or at least a push out for Albert Espinola if he decides to take that. Great shot. So between the four and eight, Tinago sa five and yes. eight. The fact that he was able to slide it so precisely between the five and the four and the eight was just lovely to look at. Sobrang precise. Going airborne once again. Oh, I thought he was. Oh, gonna check make. this oh, okay. out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like. Well, wait. Well, let me co- let me quote Efren Reyes on this. I, I got, got lucky. lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, that is lucky. That is lucky. But not not to discount um, Nikoi's ability to make jump shots, but he makes the jump shots so good that they end up going in. That's right. And there you go. Oh wow, and that's and that's another lucky arrangement there, as he basically forces as Albert Espinola to have to think of an escape strategy. Oh, that was Ooh, it. pretty close, yeah. I actually, I actually thought that he had that for a moment. Very nice. And it looks like Nikoi Lining will have the opportunity to put it away with this to get that two out of the way. Great shot there. Great control on the three. Alam niya na tatamaan talaga yung tres, pero hindi talaga certain eh kung saan mag end up yung three ball. In this case, napaganda dito kay Antonio. Oh, except for that one. Oh, hang on. I, th- I think he has the side here for the four. Notoriously narrow, that's right. Be precise about this. Exactly. Maybe hit the eight. Yes. Or I think he wanted to hit something there. Corner. Wow. Great shot Straight there. Straight as an arrow. That's the kind of shooting you love to see. <laughs> Nothing but pocket. Okay, now it isn't over. Six to the seven. Maybe he's just gonna drift to the left. Just like that. Take the seven ball to the same corner. And maybe with that angle just eight drift ball to the side. Drift yeah. to the side so that get the eight ball there. Yes. So far, connect the dots looking very, very nice here. Okay, so just a simple roll forward or bounce from the long rail. And that will give 
Nikoi Lini. A nine rack lead if he gets this nine in. There you go. Nine racks. That's the lead right now, standing as Antonio Leaning showing us exactly how you get it done. So far, maintaining si Antonio dito ng at least mga seven, di ba? Seven, eight. Now he's up to nine. Yeah. He's managed to keep some distance. Like the trucks would say on the highways, distancia amigo. Distancia amigo. And... Well, that was enough, and that was the lucky safety that definitely opened the door for him to come back in. Great shot on the two, control for the three, and it was all Antonio Lining from that point. Right. Even that bump on the on the eight. Planado, eh? Planado, so, planado, talaga. So deliberate. You have it, it's like. It's like someone just breaking the. It's like someone just methodically breaking apart that rack and making it there, Skaling. <laughs> and now Albert Espinola will be up next to break. Can the Black Carabao bounce back? We'll find out after this. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The chip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. to find out more and of course we'll have the updates for you here as soon as the details come out sabi naman ni Abner Estender leaning pocketing Aba, well right. yes <laughs> well again I think you remember I think you might have remembered our chat from before with um, some of our um, American viewers they were actually mm -hmm. saying he has so many names and yes I said we have Diesel Nikoi uh, Vice, Vice and then the lightning, light, the silver the lightning, lightning the silver, koi. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and and there is and and of course I think my favorite winning leaning <laughs> to to quote uh, Jason Foster, one of our regulars here. And that's a nice spread there. Well, except for that cluster in the middle. And the one is gone, so that means the two will be his next object ball and I'm not sure that it passes the three I'm sorry it was at the rather the seven into that corner pocket so he'll either have to he can play safe or he can drag it over to the side or he can well we'll see what he can do here He can go for the bank, but looks like he's not. Yeah, he was trying to get behind the six. And, yep. Unfortunately, he caught the jaw, the side pocket's jaw. And that's going to give um, Antonio Lining the opportunity to, to wrap this back, up. Yeah. Get back on the table and make some more. Although I'm not sure about the angle here on this three. It's a bit thinner than he what he expected. So if if he doesn't get this in, he might just try to make a safety out of this. Wow. Yeah, she had enough. Yeah, he had enough of that three ball. Alam din niya na in case na mag miss, meron siyang magandang uh, chance na magland sa likod ng ocho nueve. True. Well, Pero but in this case, kitang kitang tres. Yep. So his. Now the preparation to the four will be the problem, I think, because he has to draw it all the way down, and he has to avoid traffic while doing it. Oh, that, that again, and that's the problem when you have to hit it hard. You lose accuracy. There's a diminished. Your accuracy drops somewhat, and 
you may end up with a situation that you're not really looking forward to like this. Opportunity once again knocking oh, on like this. this door. This is good. Great. Yeah, great uh, shot there. Smooth. And great position for that five. And I think he'll go for the six in the same pocket. I think this is going to be a problem. He wanted to be just a bit further down, I think, as he ends up with less than ideal position. Okay, there we go. Well, I think that was a hit and hope situation for Antonio. Yeah, he ended up on the wrong side of the eight ball, which was right behind that nine, so... Albert Espinola can take this rack with this victory, with this 8-9 setup. Twenty-third rack for the Black Carabao. As we can see here, this rack had a lot of ups and downs here. This was the seven, as we saw. And unfortunately, Lining didn't quite get there. He was hoping to end up on either side of that nine ball to get to the eight. And that yeah. left the door open. Overcooked that position for the eight big time. And next to break, it's Antonio Lining. This is a new. Welcome to Sharks. And Robocop Dennis Orcolio squares off with Fire Dragon Chang Jun Lin. The money game kings of Asia will be battling it out only here on Sharks the Mecca of Pool. Stay tuned for updates. Now we're starting to see the YouTube chat room come to life here. Kamikaze VX says, Hello all, thank you for the stream. Floyd Anthony G says, great banks. Yes, yeah, some pretty good banking there. And Oliver Raglos over says, shout out po, sir, watching from Kaohsiung, Taiwan. So glad to see us. You're watching us there over in Taiwan. And of all, Scotty says, hey, all Sharks mate fanatics. Nice out. And I think he's looking for Mang Ambo, I think. Uh, he might not be awake yet, so uh, we'll just wait. <laughs> So he's waiting for Mang Ambo. Yes. Uh, who else? Uh, Trish Durbin, uh, Jason, Foster, Jason Foster, John O'Rourke. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the gang. Yeah. The that break is brought to us by Rapa. And yeah, I mean, I think he's waiting for the Americans for the American contingent over on YouTube. Mm -hmm. There, the, the, again, these are the regular viewers that I I chatted with even before I joined Sharks and. They're fun to chat with because they offer a lot of insight. That's and right. A lot of intelligent discussion that you learn something at the end of the day with them. And uh, they're very, uh, they, they v remain very appreciative of whoever's on the table. Yeah. Like, regardless of whether they have a favorite or not, they always try to show appreciation for 
exactly. whoever's there. Yeah. And that's the kind of fan that we love, which is a fan who just enjoys uh, pool for the sport that it really is. And okay, so far, so good. No problem balls or whatsoever. All he has to do is keep that. All he has to do is keep that nerve. Stay steady, and he'll be fine. And Albert Espinola showing us what he's got here is refusing to go down quietly. And he gets back on track with that one there. Antonio leaning, of course, ending up with what looked like a dry break. And Albert Espinola was more than happy to take advantage. Okay, so the Black Carabao was able to convert. All it took is just to... Uh uh, a break tapos walang pumasok na bola everything is open kaya yan ang hinihintay ni Albert dito na sana well wag naman sana mangyari kay Antonio Lining pero yun yung gusto niyang mangyari sana of na course of course makapag dry break talaga para makahabol yes because he knows he's got quite a lead to catch up to and That's coming right. up next uh, the Black Carabao will have his chance to break this time so Keep it tuned here to the Mecca Pool Sharks. We'll be right back. Warmest greetings to the organizers and participants of the Philippine Ten Ball Open. The local government of Quezon City recognizes the value of engaging the youth of our communities in sports as this teaches them important life values such as discipline, teamwork, and dedication. We also appreciate billiards as an inclusive sport where age or gender are not barriers towards success. We hope that this initiative may encourage more Filipinos to train for billiards that they may add to our prestigious roster of world-class athletes. It is therefore with great pride that I welcome you all to the Philippine Ten Ball Open. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. And that break was brought to you by Ropa Commercial. And um, as we can see here, looks like Albert Espinola got himself a good break to start with. Good break and a possible 2-9 combination to end this early. Well, yeah, he could probably put this to bed, this rack to bed early. If he does that, I wouldn't be surprised if he took it. Needs a nice clean draw here. 
how this will do. Yeah, I think he's got the room for 2-9, and he's looking at it. He's got the eyes of a hunter right here. <laughs> he wants this 2-9 so bad. And I think he'll take the extension if he has to. Yeah, he's looking here. Oh, so close. But the two also went in almost. <laughs> oh, and he just gave up the shot here. Yes. I mean, he I, I mean, had he even at least made the two on that, he would still be on the table. Although admittedly, he wouldn't have had very good position on the three. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, I wasn't hoping for that bump. So how does he get safe? Maybe cue ball behind the eight? Well, we'll find out. Actually, went for the back, oh, almost got it in. There, yes. So, oh, and he got a and he got another lucky break too. Mm -hmm. So the. Three ball managed to hide partially behind that black eight, so no pocket, no pocket shot right there. This is gonna be, it's gonna be forced to kick to or play safe rather. Ah, there you go. I think he did it. Yeah, he was able to use the eight. Very well executed. So this is gonna leave leaning. He's gonna go for the long rail. He's gonna go for the long rail kick. Oh, oh no, that's, that's not his best efforts there. Yeah, and he'll end up surrendering ball in hand to his opponent, the Black Carabao, who, as we've seen, given the opportunity, he will take it apart. Okay, nice low left English there. Got straight on the five, and he's okay with the six. Actually, with everything here now. Yep, looks pretty straight, so all he has to do is just focus on making each ball, and this will be all she wrote. Albert Espinola hacking his way back up. He's cut that lead down to six, and he is not done yet. Not by any means. Far from over, definitely. And there was that kick there that gave him the opportunity as he forced him into making this mistake. Okay, so I think leaning was trying to hit the three ball thin. Yes. For some separation. Very yes. thin. But you know, very dangerous naman kasi baka you might miss hitting Agreed. the three. Yeah. Yes. I think that was what he was trying to do and unfortunately miscalculated the both the bound, the angle and the or the and or the speed and that caused it. But nonetheless, that's going to give Antonio Lini the chance to break and he's up next right after this. So just keep tuned here to the Mecca of Pool Sharks.
And the winner for our Top Guns um, event from earlier today, Brian Gala Flores of Quezon City. What an effort there as he showed us just how good he is. And of course, congratulations to Brian from all of us here at Sharks, as well as Bugsy Promotions and Hard Time Sports Bar. So you mentioned something about, of course, uh, the fact that Brian's been. Well, uh, how often have you been seeing Brian in the in, in well, our circuit here? Lately, hindi na masyado kasi bumawas nga yung ano ko eh, schedule ko for for sharks. Kaya hindi ko minsan na naabutan yung ibang mga amateur players natin. Pero uh, nung unang pagsali niya dito, medyo madalas ko siya nakikita. Actually, way back. Way back mm-hmm. pa lang nung uh, first time kong tumungtong sa star. Right, right. Star Billiards. Nung ko siya nakilala. Ah, okay, okay. That's good. At least ano siya. So, he does have quite a bit of experience someone to back him up this time. That's, That's right. That's good. That break was brought to you by Ropa Commercial. And looks like the four is not going to allow that one a direct shot. Push. Possible push out. Looking to push at a distance, maybe leaving a window. So he has left the window for the one. Still hard to see whether Albert Espinola has enough of this to make it to the corner. Looks like he does. Okay, just uh, pure safety. And it looks like he got it, he executed it nicely. So not only did he use the nine as the blocker here, but he also nestled it against some other balls. So he's going to be forcing Leaning to possibly break the cluster up. She does. Oh, but looks okay. like... <laughs> Then the one and the nine. Well, no direct shot on the one, so it looks like it looks like a kick again. We are going to see what Albert's got hit in his mind for this two real kick. Oh, that was actually good. It nicely just couldn't quite get. Shot he wanted, and now Lining sees the opening. Wala nang ibang talagang gagawin to kundi go for the one ball, two rails. If it uh, misses, eh, bebenta. Yeah. I mean, they understand that uh, there's an amount of risk. So they just sort of hope that it will also give them an oper- a, a bit of protection. But yeah. yeah, it's the challenge with with billiards and in, in any sport in general like this is that. If you're pla- if you're playing defense, you really have to be prepared for the possibility that it may not work out. That's right. We're going to see what he does from here, but it looks pretty academic at this point. So he has just the angle, I believe, to get to that seven with that four right there. The angle looks favorable. Looks a little straight, but maybe he can force a little English on it. We'll see. Yeah, draw all the way draw, back. Yeah. Draws a good, draws a good tactic too. That's actually one tactic also that uh, sometimes we do forget to mention that sometimes they can just use a straight power draw to get in good position. Yeah. If the, if the shot, angle. Yeah, yeah. If there's no angle, because that's why most players will prefer to have some amount of angle yes, in their shot. That's just right. Just so that. They have. They won't have more to options. Yeah, yeah, more options. They're not forced to put as much power on the ball, which will affect the accuracy of their shot. Sticking with the natural angle. Yes. Natural path for the cue ball. And that's where Lining is showing his strength here, as he's just doing what he does best. And there you go. Thirty-two points now, and he is still well in the driver's seat. 32 racks for Antonio Lining. We'll see here. Of course, there's a little safety battle that went on here. 
dito na nadala si Albert. Right. Yung attempt on making the one ball, two rails. Pero he was nabenta. really hope, he was really hoping that the, he would kick it into the pocket. Yeah, actually, yeah. Really he wanted, but unfortunately, the angle was just slightly off, and that already left the door wide open here. And partner, I've always loved this about the new billiard balls. Ever since they put those spots on the cue ball, you get to see now just how the spin works. You get to appreciate the spin. Yeah, That's right. And coming up next, the Black Carabao is up to break, and we'll be up for our break from our spot. We'll break with our word from our sponsor. <laughs> Hello, this is only the beginning of a great new adventure in Philippine pool. In paving the way to our filing of a bill to support our Philippine billiards icon, especially the top of the list, Efren Bata Reyes. It is with great pride that we welcome you all to the first ever Philippine 10 ball open. Okay, 2022 Philippine 10 Ball Open presented by Congressman Arnie Tevez and BMPAP sa darating na pong October 24 to 31 sa halagang 300 makakapasok na po kayo dito at ang ating prize pool ay 1.5 million pesos So for more inquiries, please look for Ms. Nats Ramos at 0956-841-6602 Okay, so it's 32 to 25. Ano pa rin, leading pa rin dito si Antonio. Never pa atang nakatikim ng lead si Albert Espinola nope. since day one. Not from what I've seen. He's still, he's basically trailed throughout pretty much the, this entire match. So mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see whether he can come from behind or if he'll be able what to. What a way to him. win. I would, it, would be, it would be lovely On to see that. On day three? Yes. Wow. I would. I would. It's not impossible, considering that That's this is right. only day two. That's right. And that break was brought to you by Ropa Commercial, and um, well, he got that five to go. Got the five at the last minute. Looks like he might have to do a power draw here to get back to position, since the one looks pretty straight. Might have to do a power draw here, but has to be careful not to hit the four. Whoa, that was so nice. good. Nicely done. Well, still make, I think still manageable from this angle. Still manageable, yeah, but uh, of course he wanted more action in the cue ball. Definitely. He wanted to be like at least five, six inches maybe down would have been much better. Yeah, a bit straighter on the two. Can use the nine. Okay, so safety muna dito. Yep. Well, although I'm not sure if he wanted to leave it that close to the pocket mm -hmm. because that might be a bankable opportunity or a kickable opportunity for Antonio Lining. Well, we will see if Lining has a plan for this. So close. Foul one. We thought, well, that was the danger of leaving that um, two ball there. He actually felt a reasonable chance to take it. But that's going to be ball in hand. And the Black Carabao hoping to cut that lead back down to six if he can get his momentum going from here.
Keeping it simple, yet effective. Albert Espinola with this nine ball for his 26th rack. There you go. And that right there is Albert Espinola showing us the stuff. Just like that, Albert Espinola coming back, trying to rally back from that deficit. As we know, it's only day two, but a lot of action already played. And, and the man called Vice, the man of a thousand monikers, Antonio Lining will be up next, and he'll be up to break right after this. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And coming soon, the Sharks, Antonio Lining, one of our competitors for tonight's main event, takes on the da I might, Darren Appleton of the UK. So this is a battle of Asia versus Europe. Two world-class players square off, and you get to see it here only at the Mecca of Pool Sharks. That's coming up soon, so we'll have the details. In time, make sure to check, sh look for Sharks 9 Ball on Facebook or YouTube. To get the to get all the great action of pool absolutely free. Of course, this is our one-on-one -on -one event featuring Antonio Lining versus Albert Espinola. The Black Carabao takes on Vice in this spectacular encounter. Six six rack lead still for Nicoy Lining, but can he hold on, or will the Black Carabao snatch it? overtake him but well, we'll find out as we get to this next break that break was brought to you by ropa commercial as you can see two balls going down and that's an open layout here very nice layout for 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 vice to come on in and make some noise Hope here's to seeing what Antonio Lining has planned. Oh, he missed that one. That was actually a good shot that he planned to execute, but it looks like he didn't quite get that one there. So that's going to leave Albert Espinola a two to the side.
seven. looking like Albert Espinola looking very good here as he continues to build his momentum and he cuts that lead down to seven so back-to-back -back racks won by the Black Carabao can he keep this momentum up well we're gonna keep it tuned here Albert Espinola showing a lot of calm and poise here and well, that was a good break for Antonio Lining. The miss on the two was what basically cost him this rack and that basically opened the door right there. The door opened there for Albert Espinola to come on in and make those balls. This is what Albert Espinola will give you steady energy as he goes into this next rack up to break and this guy will be back in action in just a bit secret weapon of champions battle tested engineered to perfection The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Coming soon to Sharks, Francisco Django Bustamante will take on Darren Dynamite Appleton in what promises to be another blockbuster match here at the Mecca of Pool Sharks. So if you're watching this one, of course, if you're waiting for updates, well, we'll be sure to post them here as soon as they are available. But for now, keep it tuned here as we anticipate this great matchup coming up soon. Albert Espinola and Antonio Lining squaring off here. As you can see here, Lining has a nice lead, still at five racks, but this is by no means a done deal as we have a lot going on here. So neither player really getting out here to an outright, well, no player here really making a big swing right Ready? now. But that, but it looks like Albert Spinola can do it on this break brought to you by Ropa Commercial. And it looks like the two very nice the one is gone and the two is just waiting over at the side and all Albert Espinola has to do here is just make this rack count and the two will already give him a little confidence to get going so he's in position for that three ball so you can see here and his chance might be to do a little draw here. I'll basically just make sure that he can still get a shot at that four. So slight draw, perfect. And as we see here, a lot of changes here. Well, there's there's been quite a bit of well, there's been quite well, there's been quite a bit of movement here, but. So far, no really big move, let's say, from Albert Espinola to really cut into that lead. But I think this could already be the start of it here as he's already made two straight racks. And he's hoping to make this three consecutive. Thank you. 
And this nine ball to seal the deal as Albert Espinola is slowly but surely chipping away at that lead. Oh no, wow. I think I actually jinxed this one. <laughs> I can't believe it, but Albert Espinola certainly not liking that outcome either. And this is going to give Antonio Lining the chance to stop the momentum here and bring it back to his side. He has to just make this. Focus on making it. And Antonio Lini does the damage there. And that's 33-27 in favor of the native of Oriental Mindoro. You see it here again. Hit it just a little too thick and that caused it to bounce around the jaws of the pocket and that left an opening which Antonio Leaning was more than happy to take and Antonio Leaning will be back at the table this time to break right after this this is a new world of pool home of legends a battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. And coming up next, um, here are the Mecca of Pool Sharks. Fire Dragon Chang Jun Lin versus the Kingpin Baseth Mokaibat. The Philippines squares off with Taiwan coming soon in this blockbuster encounter. Only here at the Mecca of Pool Sharks. So keep it tuned here for schedule updates as we will be announcing them for this match as soon as we have the official word. And of course, as we go back to our match here again, a six-rack lead for Antonio Lining over Albert Espinola. As we can see here, the two still battling it out. And of course, this match is a three-day a three-day encounter, a race to 75. This is being brought to you by Bugsy Promotions, Hard Times Sports Bar, and the Mecca of Pool Sharks. So this is day two. So whoever gets to 51st will end day two. So we're going to find Great. out if it's this guy, Antonio Lining, or his opponent, Albert Espinola. That break was brought to you by Ropa Commercial. And we just heard one ball going down there. Just saw it one as well. And it looks like... You know, we're looking at that one ball. I think the one ball is definitely makeable. And he should have a shot... What boy is definitely makeable. And he should have the two fairly easily as well.
I'm not sure that Antonio Lini is happy with this layout here. The six ball somehow going partially behind that seven. So we'll see what he plans here. He might play a little defense. Oh, he's going all the way down, but that's not going. That's not going to make it. That's not going to make it. And so you can see here still a lot of still a lot going on here so right now Albert Espinola can cut this down to a five rack lead if he can just keep the momentum going mm, overcooked position here yeah it looks like he just landed on the funny side not the inan niya yung ilalim yep well we're gonna see what he can pull out from this hat Looks like Albert Espinola ready to take this one home. Took the nine home, but still a long Espinola. way to go. Espinola with 28 racks. Yep, that's it. He got it. So it's definitely a five rack lead now for Antonio leaning off that one. And this was what happened earlier. Leaning kind of put himself in a not so favorable spot and that left him with a less than favorable shot here ito naka recover naman yeah Pero, it's true yeah well the good news was that he forced antonio lining to into this safety battle and so you can see here ito yung bank shot this was the, the bank corner. shot that did it and before we know it and Albert Espinola will be back up to break, so we'll check out we'll, we'll check out our sponsors right after this. And of course, uh, we had a question over social media earlier from Terry Teresa from, I believe, from the U.S. here. She was asking, how did Brian Flores do earlier? Well, we have the answer right here for you. He was the winner of our Top Guns event from uh, the man from Quezon City known as Gala, a.k.a. The Wanderer. He won the Top Guns event and put on quite a show there. So again, congratulations to Mr. Brian Flores for making us proud here at Sharks. Congratulations from us here at Sharks as well as Bugsy Promotions and Hard Times Sports Bar. And of course, uh, I guess this will be my time for me to take my leave, but I leave you all with the capable hands of the one and only Mr. AJ Ong. Partner, oh, yeah. it's been a great day. I hope that uh, we no get to do, we, I hope we get to do this again and um I'll be tuning into this match uh, maybe as I'm Once on my way home. home. Yes, of That's course, right. I will. Great. So, and of course, we'll, we'll have this rack for the final time for me tonight. This rack will be brought to you by Ropa Commercial. There you go, guys. Magpapaalam muna si Mr. Cannon. Dayrit, bukas po. Siya po ang magko-closing ng ating one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. That break is brought to us by Ropa Commercial.
we've got Trish Durbin saying, have a great day. So, yeah. Watching in Taiwan, we have Rodel Paraiso. Magandang gabi. Shout out din kay Ruby Ramones. Forces the cue ball and he gets good on the four. Perfect on the nine. Thirty four for Antonio Leaning. So galing yun sa Sargo ni Albert Espinola. Tinan natin kung ano nga ulit ang nangyari kanina. Yung uno na iwan. Ayan. So na iwan po niya yung uno dito. Pangunahing tira. At hindi na siyempre sinayang ni Antonio Lining yung opportunity. 34 racks for Lining. And he's gonna be up next to break. Secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Get Sports your code Bar. jump cues and tips at Hard Time Sports Bar. Look for Jojo Sanchez at 0920-923-8752. And coming soon, the Battle of the Money Game Kings, Dennis Orculio versus Chang Jing Lin. So far, wala pa rin pong nagbabago sa storya ng ating one-on-one -on -one between Antonio Lining and Albert Espinola. Humahabol pa rin naman dito si Albert pero he needs uh, a good run talaga. Long way to go para makakatch up dito kay Antonio. This break is brought to us by Robert Marshall. This looks like a dry break to me.
Leaning broke dry and left the shot here on the one. Problem is the two ball. The path for the corner pocket is blocked by the four. So let's see how he produces a safety on the two. Cubo maybe behind the three. Let's see. Well, I think he was hoping to use the three ball there. Left it, uh, left it exposed here now to Antonio. Possible counter safety cue ball behind the eight. Oh, there you go. Went for the bank. Great shot. And look where the cue ball landed. Perfectly in line with the three. Hindi ka nga naman mananalo kung puro tago. Kaya tinira na ni Antonio yung yung doblete. Problem on the seven, seven passes the eight. And another win for the Lightning. 35 racks under Le Leaning's name now. So it's 15 more to go. 15 more racks to end our second day. Check this out, guys. Bank shot on the two ball. That wasn't even natural. Somehow he manufactured that two ball to go to the side. Great run from Antonio Leaning. And up next, it's gonna be Albert Espinola to break. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Get Sports Get your code Bar. Jump Cues and Tips at Hard Time Sports Bar. Look for Jojo Sanchez at 0920-923-8752. And once again, congratulations to our commissioner Alex Parker. Kahapon po kung hindi niyo po napapanood yung performance, nag nine straight wins si Alex Parker. Kaya po natapos po kagad ang ating second event. Kaya rin po wala kayong nakikitang podium ibang podium finishers dito kasi siya lamang po ang nag-score. And of course, shout out kay AJ Deseo, ang aking katukayo dito. Shout out and stay safe, AJ Deseo. Hope to see you soon.
looking to catch up with a seven game advantage here with Antonio's seven game advantage that break is brought to us by Ropa Good judgment. Nicely done. Placing the cue ball behind the six. Okay, so good na good yun dahil dalawang beses pang tumama yung pato sa uno. <laughs> okay, now let's see if uh, he goes aggressive with the one. Well, most likely he might go for a safety. Let's see. Oh, went for the pot. And he gets a good row. Okay, so he left the kick actually available for the side. Let's see if he tries that. Kick and make or let's see if he goes for a safety. Another safety. And let's see if uh, Antonio will be able to go over, but looks like he's going to be settling for a kick. Oh, that was pretty close. Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> well, that was a crazy shot. Almost made the one ball. Muntikan pa mag follow up yung pato. Looks like he's going to be setting up for a, a billiard on the four. Kaya dinala niya yung pato dito sa may side rail. Parang yung binabalak niya talaga dito. And another problem here. Seven balls in the way, so we might be looking into a combination two seven. <coughs> Great shot. With lots of conviction. Now it's all about taking this rack home. Everything is out in the open.
Mang Ambo kanina ka pa hinihintay ng mga classmates mo dito. Glad to see you here. Racks for Espinola. Espinola. 29 na ngayon dito si Black Carabao. At ano, mal medyo malaki pa rin ang kailangan niyang habulin dito. So, 6 rack lead pa rin ng meron dito si Antonio over Albert Espinola. That was a nice run. Well-deserving win. And next to break, it's Antonio Lining. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. At syempre, congratulations po kay Bryant Urdaneta. Bryant sa gipid, siya po ang nanalo nung huling Three Kings natin. Thirty-five to twenty-nine, still a nice lead for Antonio Lining. Pero kapag si Albert Espinola na bibigyan po ng pagkakataon dito, sure, hindi niya aksayan yung opportunity yon. Pag nakahabol na ko, grabe. Napakaganda ng ating day three. This break is brought to us by Ropa Commercial. This is a dry break. Sabi dito ni Mang Ambo, naglaro siya ng billiard kanina at ang kanyang assessment sa kanyang performance ay class Z negative. Grabe naman. Baka naman sobrang tagal mo nang hindi naglalaro. Talagang mahirap bumalik sa pagbibilyar. Sa mga players out there, mga viewers natin, alam niyo yung sinasabi ko na kapag natigil lang tayo ng dalawang linggo, kahit man lang isa, iba. But it takes a couple of weeks, maybe even, or maybe even a week. Kaya ng kaya ng mahabol yung groove. Kaya just keep on playing, mga mbo. Nicely placed. Two and three will go to the same side pocket.
Christian Paul Guerra. Sabi niya dito, shout out. Parehas house player ng sticks and balls. Aba. Happy viewing sa inyo. And Espinola brings it down to five. So lima na lang po dito ang lamang ni Antonio Lining. And next to break, it's Albert Espinola. At sa mga gusto pong sumali dito at maging player ng Sharks Nine Ball Showdown, all you need to do is look for Commissioner Alex Parker at 0916-466-4695. Espinola brings it down to just five. Five na lang po ang uh, lamang dito ni Antonio Lining. Kanina na sa 9 po. 9. Tapos hanggang sa na-bring down niya dito sa 5. This break is brought to us by Rapa. Pretty unfortunate on where the one ball landed, so he had to play safe. In this case, using the three. but he might have left it open.
He's eyeing down this combination 3-4. Bit hampered on the 8. Oh, and he just left it. Well, he hasn't left the three ball easy. Lining might consider banking the three to the corner. If not, could be just pure safety. Cue ball behind the seven, probably. Let's see. Went for the pot. There you go. Great job. Slices the eight ball in with lots of inside spin. Perfect on the nine. 36 for Antonio. And Antonio Lining is up to break. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. At ito na ang pinakahihintay ng mga Shark Canatics natin. Makita ang mga amateurs natin makipaglaro sa mga professional players. So this coming October 10 to 12, a three-night event. Hinanda po sa atin ng Shark Store Race to 75 Tag Team Doubles. So it's Jericho Banyares with James Lim against Jeffrey Ignacio and Ephraim Cruz. Malapit na po ito, kaya abangan po natin. Sa ngayon, nananatili pa rin pong leader si Antonio Lining. Hindi pa rin po nakakatikim ng lead si Albert Espinola. Pero nasa second day pa lang tayo. And for day two, we need a player who gets to 50. Pwede na nating matapos po ang ating pangalawang araw. That break is brought to us by Ropa. Mukhang wala tayong narinig na pumasok doon. At uh, naiwanan ng tira dito si Albert Espinola. So maybe no choice but to take on a 2-5 combination afterwards. 
draws the cue ball closer to the two para mas may control siya dito Tapos, biglang nagtagalog si Skadi. Aba? So, Pilipino pala itong si Skadi. <laughs> Happy viewing. Overcuts the two. I think he might have left it for Antonio. So magandang sagot to. Hindi pa rin naiwang madali ang dos. Uh oh, cue ball. Okay, lost control of the cue ball. So, ball in hand for Antonio. Mang Ambo, yung pinag-uusapan nyo ba is yung, uh, yung kung fu? Yung kung fu na brand. <laughs> Nakainom na ako niyan eh, ng shiok tong na yan. Okay, so vigor pala. Kasi alam ko merong ano eh, merong siyoktong na kung fu. Okay, two balls away. This nine ball for a seven game lead. 37 to 30, still in favor of Antonio Lining. At ang susunod purito will be the Black Carabao, Albert Espinola to break. Greetings to the organizers and participants of the Philippine 10 Ball Open. The local government of Quezon City recognizes the value of engaging the youth of our communities in sports as this teaches them important life values such as discipline, teamwork, and dedication. We also appreciate billiards as an inclusive sport where age or gender are not barriers towards success. We hope that this initiative may encourage more Filipinos to train for billiards that they may add to our prestigious roster of world-class athletes. It is therefore with great pride that I welcome you all to the Philippine 10 Ball Open. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. And from Sunnyvale, California, we have Kanoy Vlog. Happy, happy viewing. Pinabati po ang lahat ng mga Sharkanatics natin dito. Dobie Howard. 
So your Kanoi vlog, okay, Doby Howard. Hi there. <laughs> okay, so seven game lead over Albert Espinola. Hanggang ngayon, ganito pa rin po ang nagiging storya nilang dalawa. Humahabol pa rin naman si Albert dito. At siya po ang sasargo. This break is brought to us by Ropa. Five ball almost went in. Looks like he has left a shot here for the side. One ball to the side. Good morning to Dusty Tables. Gets the bank. Great job. Okay, so hindi pala kayang ano yan, nipisan yung una dun sa side. Went for a bank. Nicely done. Went for a 284 combination. Make that 285. Combination. Looks like if he could manage to get behind the three, he could go for a three nine. Okay, that was far from a gimme. But the nine ball didn't even threat the corner pocket. Wants to hit the four. Wow, great job. Great job. Just what he needed there. Albert Espinola gets the win. So that's Albert's 31st rack, 31 to 37. Still in favor of Antonio. Speaking of Antonio Lining, siya po ang susunod ditong Sasargo. Glad to see Dobie Howard enjoying the action. 
And of course, sa lahat po ng viewers natin over at Facebook and YouTube, thank you very much for tuning in. This is our second day sa ating one-on-one -on -one battle between Antonio Lining and Albert Espinola. A race to 75, but for day two, whoever gets to 51st. That break is brought to us by Robo Commercial. Textbook break, one ball to the side. Shot on the two. It's just the four ball that needs special attention. So ngayon napatigil si Antonio sa kanyang pag-shoot kasi iniisip niya ng paraan kung anong gagawin dito sa 4. Definitely not enough to pot the four ball to the corner. So he's going to be playing a stun shot using the six and sending the four ball around probably not sure okay so not enough for a ooh, great shot wow not enough for a stun but enough for a cross corner great shot he's gonna be simply drawing for that six nine combination or maybe m just bouncing forward Well, earlier he missed a combination. This time he's not gonna get his eyes off this 6-9. Down goes the 9 ball. There you go, guys. 38 racks for the Lightning. Next to break, it's Albert Espinola. Hello, this is only the beginning of a great new adventure in Philippine pool. In paving the way to our filing of a bill to support our Philippine billiards icon, especially the top of the list, Efren Bata Reyes. It is with great pride that we welcome you all to the first ever Philippine 10 ball open. And that was a message from Congressman Arnie Tevez at iniimbitahan po namin kayong lahat sumali this coming October 24 to 31. Magkisimula na po ang 2022 Philippine 10 ball open sa halagang 300 piso. Makakapasok na po tayo dito sa tournament. And for more information, look for Nads Ramos at 0956841. 6602 Good PM or good evening kay Zimatarzi ang aking ama kasama po natin dito sa Facebook Live at pinapanood syempre kung ano ang uh, nagaganap dito sa labanan ni Antonio Lining and Albert Espinola hindi pa rin po nag-iibang storya dito humahabol pa rin si Albert Pero hindi na kasing laki na hinahabol simula nung, ano, nung uh, first day natin. Hindi tulad nung first day natin, talagang medyo may kalayuan. 
Albert with that break brought to us by Ropa. Broke dry, possible jump. Well, mukhang hindi pala magandang jump dito kasi yung two ball medyo alanganin yung position. So he's going to be pushing out to an open one ball. Pero hindi pa rin po madali dahil diretso yung iniwang tira dito para kay Albert. So ideally, he wanted more action on the cue ball para mas uh, umangat pa yung pato at matago sa mga bola dito sa gitna. He has left an open shot or an open one ball. Antonio decides to use the seven as cover but looks like he could, uh, looks like Albert could get to the one ball. Might be sending the one ball up table and using the seven as cover. Now it's an open one. Open one ball here for the lightning. Everything is open, so let's see how it goes. Expected miss.
although he might have left a shot here on the seven still a tough shot here lots of distance between the cue ball and seven and he just made it look easy Eight ball to the side. And looks like he's going to be landing pretty on the nine. Great shot. 39 to 31 coming right up. There you go. 39 racks for Antonio Leaning. At nakabalik pa siya dito, no? At uh, sayang nga lang ang gusto sanang mangyari dito ni Albert Espinola na kumamot pa further yung pato para makapwesto ng maigi dun sa 7. So Antonio Lining was able to survive that rack and he's up next to break. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Coming soon, Bustamante versus Appleton. Hatid po ito sa atin ng Bugsy Promotions and Hard Time Sports Bar. Malapit na po ito, kaya abangan po natin ang mga further details about our upcoming events. Leaning with a with an eight eight rack advantage over Albert Espinola, still a long way to go for the Black Carabao. Medyo nababasa ko yung mga conversation nila mang ambo dito sa YouTube, and I have to say, tama ka nga, biado it's either biado or orculio. Dennis or Carlo, silang dalawa. That break is brought to us by Ropa. This is a nice looking rack, guys. So right now, it's just about getting to the right places for the cue ball. Medyo may pagka semi-recovery shot yung four. And landed well for the five. This is looking like a quick rack for me.
and good evening kay uh, Mr. Jose Ha and Joe Pao watching with us over at Facebook. Forty racks for the lightning. Sampu na lang po ang kailangan dito ni Antonio Lining. Great shot on the four. And everything is history now. Up next to break, it's the Black Carabao. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cool Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Three passes the nine, so a stun will do. Or draw back a bit. And looks like he could still avoid any contact on the four. Thumps the six in, three balls remaining. Albert is going to claim his 30-second rack just a few minutes or a few seconds. Espinola gets 32 racks.
This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. Coming soon here at Sharks, the Black Tiger versus the Fire Dragon. Our US Open champion, Carlo Biado, against the world champion, Chang Jung Lin. Here comes the lightning for the break. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Five and a shot on the one. Isa na namang magandang sargo galing kay Antonio Lining. At yan naman yung nagiging dahilan kung bakit ganito ang kanyang score ngayon. Eh, alam naman natin, if, uh, if a player gets to make a ball, it of course runs out. Talaga namang magpa-pile up ang scores. Kaya in this case, ganito yung nagiging story dito. Break and run. Tapos may mga ibang instances na nabibigyan ng pagkakataon kahit na galing sa sargo ni ni Albert Espinola not to mention kanina medyo sinuswerte din si Antonio made a couple of balls na hindi dapat sa designated na na, ano, na, na pocket so mga fluke That's right, um, Doby, race to 50 for day two. Is there any chance, uh, Doby, of you going to the Philippines anytime soon? There you go, guys, leaning with 41 racks. I would love to meet Dobie Howard, of course si D.P. Del, Pinoy si D.P. Del, si Mang Ambo, pero never ko pang nami-meet. Hopefully, sa ibang araw, magkaroon tayo ng oras na maglaro sa Hard Time Sports Bar. And next to break, it's Albert Espinola. Battle of the Money Game Kings coming soon. Chang versus Orculio.
Oh, sayang naman, Dobby. February, may plan sana siyang bumalik dito. Kaso nga lang, hindi natuloy. So, yes, hopefully next year. Early next year. Sana ma-meet natin si Kanoy Vlog. Si Mang Ambu naman, pumunta ng hard times. Punta ako hard times pag medyo naayos ko na tira. Hindi naman, nako. Ano ka ba, Mr. Uh, Mang Ambo? Okay lang naman kahit na hindi masyadong okay yung tira. Basta't maglaro sa hard times, pwede, pwede yan. Siyempre, doon mo na mabibuild yung, ano mo eh, yung, uh, yung ugali mo na gusto mong laging pumunta. Siyempre, doon na rin susunod yung, ano, yung pagbalik ng skills. That break is brought to us by Rapa. So, Purple 5 yung pumasok dito para kay Albert. Shot on the one. Okay, so the last time Doby was here was way back 2019, Christmas. Okay, malapit ang grass residences dito. <laughs> so, if ever you visit the country, just let us know. Of course, you're going to be notifying your good friend, uh, Jaynard Orke. Kung sakasakaling pupunta si, si Doby Howard dito sa Pilipinas. Wants that cue ball behind the nine. That's a foul. Foul! Hindi kasi umabot yung tres. Kung, kung sakaling umabot man yung tres sa may uh, foot rail, okay sana. It's a legal shot. galing magtagalog nga ni Kanoy Vlog ni Dobi. I think he has lots of Filipino friends. And he wants a rematch with Jaynard. Okay. <laughs> wow, so that means nasa class S or class A si Kanoy. Another miss. Saiz din. So, another miss on the six. Earlier, he had a miss and yung green six din yun. that nothing else to say but it's going to be 3341 soon We there. 33 racks for Espinola Aba, so may pagkakataon pala si Doby if 9 ball ang game. Okay. Why is that? Uh, medyo iniisip ko bakit kung 9 ball mas may chance. Is it because uh, mas madaling yung break ng 9 ball? <laughs> okay, so next to break, we're gonna have Antonio leading. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. 
battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Congratulations to Brian Gala Flores for winning our first event. Forty-one to thirty-three, still in favor of Antonio Lining. So may chance though, she's a nine ball, because minsan lapit lang sa bangin yung nine. <laughs> okay, talagang nagamit yung bangin or uh, or the pocket. Here we go. Here comes Antonio Lining with the break. And that break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Nothing down. That's a foul. Foul one. No contact on the one. Looks like this rack belongs to Albert Espinola. Yeah, pocket is bulsa. Pero we used uh, the term bangin dito sa ano, pag-scratch sa, sa mga bulsa. That was way back in the well days. Pinagtatawanan talaga ni Mang Ambo yung sumakabilang butas. <laughs> okay, so far so good for Albert Espinola. Walang kaproble-problema dito sa kalat ng mga bola.
And Espinola advances to his 34th rack. Thirty-four to forty-one. Medyo may kalayuan pero ang importante dito humahabol pa rin si Albert Espinola at siya po ang susunod na sa Sargo. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Cole Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And congratulations sa ating Commissioner Alex Parker. Grabe po ang pinakitang ratsyada. Nine straight wins kahapon po yan. Sa mga hindi po nakanood, pwede po natin yan balikan sa ating Facebook and YouTube. So far, humahabol pa rin po si Albert Espinola making the most of uh, uh, every opportunities na pwedeng maibigay sa kanya dito ni Antonio. So, yun ang importante naman para hindi siya na left behind masyado. Pero yung tanong dito, the question is, how will he able to bridge the gap? So far, hindi pa rin po niya na bridge yung gap dito since day one. Here we go. This break is brought to us by Robert Commercial. Okay, so he was able to produce a good break, good scatter, except for that four. Breaks the eight and nine. Looks like he could hold the uh, eight nine window. Perfect.
It's all smooth sailing for Albert Espinola. Now with 35 racks. So he was able to cut it down to six. Kanina, five. Parang na, nababa niya yung lead ni Antonio sa five. Tapos, along the way, medyo nawala rin. Well, tina natin kung tuloy-tuloy na nga ba ang ratsyada dito ni Albert Espinola. Muli pong sa Sargo, si Antonio Lining. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. At ang nanala sa ating previous three kings, si Bryant Urdaneta, Bryant Sagiped from Urdaneta City, Pangasinan. Once again, congratulations. Uh, Dobie Howard, if you're still there, I'm not sure about this question. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. So is the Predator cue ball similar to the measle ball? What's a measle ball? Oh, the one with four red dots. Uh, well, kind of similar, except for the fact that uh, the Predator ball hey. has triangle dots, if we could call it a dot or triangle points. That break is brought to us by Rapa. He tried the corner. Okay, so he missed the shot and exposes the two, but still nothing easy. Looks like he's going to be bringing the cue ball behind the six or somewhere in that area. As long as he gets uh, a ball to cover. Possible jump. And looks like he's setting up for a jump here.
and he fluked the f oh eight and five check that out <laughs> pero medyo minalas nga lang dito sa dos dahil hindi naman niya kita so he's gonna be playing a two rail kick oh <laughs> wow Uh, tinan nyo naman no, kung sakaling pumasok yung dos dito, perfect yung position para sa tres. So, eto na lang talaga. Kapag na-positionan ng maayos ang tres dito, tapos na ang laban. Ito, na-stun yung cue ball. Bukang kaya pa naman sa side. Well, in this case, Trish, it's not a good, uh, not a good fluke for Antonio. He wants that cue ball to bounce, and he's good. Once again, Albert Espinola bringing it down to just five. Yeah, munti ka na rin uh, pumasok yung dos. Kung pumasok sana yung dos, perfect sana sa tres. Pero sa pagkakataong to, kay Albert Espinola na punta. Next break, it's Albert the Black Carabao. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. And sa mga interesado pong sumali, pwedeng-pwede naman po as long as you have a regular job. At kung merong oras po kayong maglaro ng bilyar, pwede po natin kontakin si Alex Parker sa 0916-466-4695. Jofel Formon, watching over at YouTube. Mabuhay ka. Shout out sa'yo. Yes, you're right. Uh, Dobie Howard, four, uh, four racks in a row. And looking for his fifth, here comes Albert with his break, brought to us by Rapa. Got the five, shot on the one. If he gets five straight wins, Mababawasan ng lead ni Antonio leaning to just four. Mm. 
Good morning to Mr. Rowell Kasem. Watching over at Facebook, ang aking idol sa kusina at sa mesa. Okay, so he landed a bit short. Six balls still to the side. Oh, and again, what's up with the six? Albert and Antonio missing on the six. Wow. Earlier, Antonio had two misses on the six ball. was smooth smooth bang on the six and perfect landing on the seven just needs to roll closer and he's good Mac Jane Mapa Camino shout out to Mac Mac watching from Bacolod Rooting for Antonio Lining. Mabuhay kayo. And there you go, guys. Another win for the Lightning. 42 racks for Antonio Lining. And looks like my partner, Canon Dairit, arrived safely home. He's going to be tuning in, of course, uh, para makita kung anong sitwasyon dito. Next to break, it's Antonio Lining. Warmest greetings to the organizers and participants of the Philippine 10 Ball Open. The local government of Quezon City recognizes the value of engaging the youth of our communities in sports as this teaches them important life values such as discipline, teamwork, and dedication. We also appreciate billiards as an inclusive sport where age or gender are not barriers towards success. We hope that this initiative may encourage more Filipinos to train for billiards that they may add to our prestigious roster of world-class athletes. It is therefore with great pride that I welcome you all to the Philippine 10 Ball Open. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. And once again, good morning sa lahat po ng ating viewers over at Facebook and YouTube. This is day two sa labanan ni na Antonio Lining and Albert Espinola. Here we go. Break. Lining with this break brought to us by Ropa. That is a dry break. Left a shot here for the Black Carabao. Good morning kay Nars Villalobos. Oh, 
almost got the one. Medyo sinisilip nila yung sitwasyon ng tres dito. So, it could be a billiard on the nine. Let's see. Let's see how it sets it up. Okay, so top view, tinignan ko dito sa may bandang kanan ko, parang hindi pe pwede yung, yung billiard on the nine. So he might have to play safe. Wow, crafty shot. Does he get rewarded though? Okay, mukhang alinganin pa rin ng posisyon dito ng tres. And we've got Miss Nora Chua kasama natin sa Facebook. Supporting Antonio Lining. Check this out, guys. Oh, that was pretty close. And looks like he has left a billiard on the nine. Well, let's see if he has enough of the three ball. Extension. Kung wala lang po yung green six dito, kanina pa tinira ni Albert Espinola yung billiard on the nine o yung karambola. Almost producing a good safety, but looks like the three passes the eight. Okay, good result there. Not sure if he was trying to attack the nine with the three, but this is okay. left it open so three ball to the side and a possible 4-9 unless he if he avoids the combination so let's see okay so definitely going for the 4-9 43 for leaning
So, ito yung tira kanina na hindi ko lang alam kung sinusubukan ng tamaan yung 9. At ito naman yung nagpa-sell out ng kombinasyon. 3 to the side and that 4-9. Seven more to go for Antonio Lining. Pero hahabol pa rin dito ang susunod na sa Sargo, which is Albert Espinola. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Call Q tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Coming soon here at Sharks, Leaning versus Appleton. Wala pa pong exact dates, kaya wabangan nyo po every night ang live stream ng Sharks para manotify po kayo sa mga upcoming dates natin or upcoming events. And for those who just tuned in, you are witnessing our main event for today. So it's the second day for Antonio Lining and Albert Espinola, a race to 75. At ang pinakamalapit dito to get to 50 is Antonio Lining. He just needs seven more racks to finish our second day. Break! And of course, looking to catch up is Albert Espinola with that break brought to us by Rapa. So he got the three. Open shot, open table. Looking good for Albert. Extension. got a feel for this guy. Albert Espinola nawalan ng control dito sa pagbalik sa 9. And it's a free throw for Lining. Lining. 
Leading advances to his 44th rack. Six more to go. Ayun, no? At uh, binabalak niya sana mag two reels siguro. Hindi niya na, na feel. So, he decided to catch the long rail back for the nine. Pero yun yung nangyari. Next to break, it's Antonio Lining. So, hindi inaasahan ni Albert Espinola na matitigil siya kanina. That was a devastating uh, scratch sa 8 pa man din. And naiwanan ng free throw sa 9 dito si Antonio Lining. So, now, anim na lang po. Six more for Antonio to end day two. And here comes Antonio for the break. break. This break is brought to us by Rapa. And binabati natin si Miss uh, Edang Chua and si CB Ronillo kasama niya ngayon dito. Charmaine Algara saying happy Sunday to everybody. Happy viewing and happy Sunday to you as well. Okay, so he went for short side position. Perfect. Now he needs to uh, take the cue ball na kung saan kita ang tres. Kaya tinan natin kung saan niya ilalapag ang pato. Not what he planned, but this will do. Cut on the three. Needs to go up and down. Back for the four. Or will he be playing safe? Okay, so just the safety.
And once again, shout out to Edang Chua and CB Ranilio. So he just needs to roll this in to the side. He's going to be natural on the nine. Nola with the win. 37 racks for Albert. Next to break, it's the Black Carabao. Hello, this is only the beginning of a great new adventure in Philippine pool. In paving the way to our filing of a bill to support our Philippine billiards icon, especially the top of the list, Efren Bata Reyes. It is with great pride that we welcome you all to the first ever Philippine 10 Ball Open. At sa darating pong October 24 to 31, magsisimula na po ang 2022 Philippine 10 Ball Open. Sa halagang 300, makakapasok na po tayo dito sa tournament na to. Limited for only 512. So ang ating registration ay magtatapos this coming October 16. Kaya kontakin nyo na po si Ms. Nadza Ramos at This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Antonio Liling looking for win number 45. So he got into trouble with the six. Naharangan na tuloy yung path ng cuatro.
bank. Okay, does he fluke the four? Nope, left it hanging. So ito na yung key shot dito. Real first with lots of right spin. Hopefully landing well for the five. Ooh, I thought that seven eight will break up. Kala ko aabutan ng pato. Could have been one hell of a shot there. Yeah, that was pretty close, Doby. Okay, so he left an open five. <coughs> Seven and eight, still a problem here. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, so he broke the seven. Great job. Draws the cue ball all the way to the foot rail. Opens up the seven. Extension. And looks like he's prepping to take the seven ball to the side. And he's going to be in contact with the eight. Just a bit. Oh, but he missed the seven. Now he's trying to gather all his focus, all his experience with this shot on the seven. Wow, super shot. Ooh, look at this. This is beautiful. Great shot. Wow. That is definitely a must-see on our replay. Wow, there you go, guys. Great shot from leaning on the seven. That's win number 45. Five racks to go.
secret weapon of champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Kung ngayon na entertain na kayo ni Antonio Lining, mas lalo po kayong ma entertain kapag dumating na po sa bansa si Dynamite, Darren Appleton, at magsasagupaan po sila very soon. Abangan po natin ang mga petsa para dito. Wow, and again, producing spectacular shot. So he banked the one to the side, cross side, hits the two, and there you go. Gets a good position. That's right, Cannon. What a magnificent shot. A well-deserved win for Antonio Nicoy Lining. Wow. Tingnan natin yung highlights dito. One to the side, breaks the two, gets a good position, and he runs out. Wow. So it's just four racks to go for Antonio. Sa susunod po, si Albert Espinola ang sasargo. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips.
Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Bustamante versus Appleton coming soon here at the Mecca of Pool. This break is brought to us by Rocket Commercial. Good scatter. Great break. Did not expect that to happen. Maybe he was focusing on getting good position on the eight. Maybe that took some focus away. It's all going good, all going great here for yeah. Lina. Now with 47 racks. Let's check that seven once again. Caught it thick. Caught the seven thick. And of course, Antonio Lining punishes uh, Albert Espinola with that mistake. At siya po ang sasargo dito, Antonio Liling to break. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best.
Welcome to Sharks. At isa sa mga aabangan po natin dito ang labanan ni na Basef Mukaibat and Chang Junglin, the Fire Dragon from Taiwan against our very own Kingpin. Break. This break is brought to us by Rob Commercial. Antonio leading currently with 47 racks. He just needs three more. Push. Push. Okay, so he caught the one ball thick. Open table for Albert Espinola. Problem, Dobi. I will send your regards. You know what? I will actually. Uh, I'll go for a screenshot and show this to them afterwards. And I'll be sending your message uh, to Antonio's uh, DM.
This guy just has a heart of a warrior. Albert Espinola with 38 racks. Kita natin dun medyo may signs of uh, strain sa mata ni Albert Espinola. Hindi naman din natin masisisi dahil it's a long race. Tatlong araw po ito. Three-day event. Race to 75. Pero binali po natin sa tatlo. Yung uh, 75 na yan. So 25 for day one. 50 naman para sa ating second day ngayon. Albert Espinola is next to break. Battle of the Money Game Kings coming soon. Dennis Orculio versus Chang Jenglin. Okay, so on the previous rack, Albert Espinola was able to hold Antonio Lining at 47. So, tina natin kung kakayarin pa niyang maderecho. At alam natin mahirap po yung mangyare pero it's still a possibility. <laughs> Thank you for your undying support, Dobi Howard. And kahit na hindi siya binabayaran dito, talagang he's. Uh, He's inviting everybody to like our page. Thank you very much. <laughs> And you also know the word Jarot. Oh my. <laughs> This break is brought to us by Rob Commercial. Leading going for a push out. <coughs> He could actually go for a jump from that position. And if he's, if he's able to stop where the one is from the jump, he's going to be okay on the two. But he decided to play a push out, pushing the cue ball towards the foot rail. Ngayon, pinasa sa kanya ang tira dito. Siguro inaasahan, tamaan yung dos. Kaya ngayon, mukhang kombinasyon sa 5. 2-5. Let's see. Okay. Well, no choice but to play safe here. Well, he could go for a bank to the corner. Let's see. Pero parang safety muna at the cue ball maybe behind the six. Great job! Wow. Yeah, that's right, Anthony. 
could have been a cross double. And he's going to get a lucky roll. Seven ball in a uh, on the way, or uh, seven ball is in the way of the cue ball, cue ball path for the two. So mapipilitan magpatalon dito si Albert. Oh, almost lost the cue ball, pero ito this will work. Another win for Espinola. Albert Espinola. Next to break, it's Antonio Lining. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Get your code jump cues and tips at Hard Time Sports Bar. Look for Jojo Sanchez at 0920-923-8752. Muli natin kino-congratulate si Brian Flores, also known as Gala, the Wonder. Siya po ang nanalo sa ating first event kaninang umaga. Congratulations, Brian Flores.
Break. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Pumasok ang dos. Wala nga lang tira dito sa uno. Calls for a push. He might be pushing out for a jump. Let's see. Okay, so he has left a shot here between the eight and four. Okay, so Espinola missing that opportunity. So that brings back Antonio Lining sa mesang to. At wala pong kaproble problema na. Everything is out in the open. I know what you're saying, Dobie. Antonio Lining gets 48 racks. Secret weapon of champions. Battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The chip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Muli po natin kino-congratulate si Commissioner Alex Parker na rumatsyada po ng 9 straight games kahapon. Two more to go. Two racks to go for Antonio Lining to close out day two.
At kasama nating nanonood dito si uh, Hill Joriem Joriem pala Hill Joriem Aguilar Diaz pati si Edang Chua from Commonwealth hey. and Mr. Bud Perez of course watching from Resorts World of ba- Sana All <laughs> that break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial Great shot. Pero medyo alanganin yung iniwan niyang tira dito sa tres. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> okay, so medyo nalagpasan nga lang niya dito. So he's definitely not going for the cut. There's no cut for the four. He's gonna be playing safe. Maybe using the nine and seven, sending the four ball. Okay, to where it is right now. But that's dangerously close to the side. Going for a Massey. Wow. <laughs> Great shot. And he gets good on the five. pinapahirapan siya ng 8 dito so he might consider cutting the 6 to his right corner pocket beautiful oh my <laughs> check this out and he landed perfectly for the side Seven ball to the side pocket. What a great shot. That was a very exciting rack. There you go, guys. On the hill for day two. Beautiful Massey on the four. And natulungan siya ng ocho, pero bumawi din yung ocho sa kanya dito. Pero nagawa naman ng paraan. And Antonio Lining will be breaking next. And uh, let's see if this is our final rack for today. So let's find out just a bit. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks.
Congratulations to our Three Kings winner, Bryant Ordaneta, Bryant Sagiped from Pangasinan. Looks like he's going to be landing behind the seven. Jumping over is an option, but uh, getting to the three, well, that's the question. So he got fortunate there. Eight balls in the way. Real first with lots of right spin. And that's going to sell out. So, hindi niya inaasahang mahagip yung sais along the way. At ngayon, problema. Dahil nakaharang ang 7. This could be a soft swerve. Oh. Left the 6 ball wide open. Espinola still hanging on. 40 racks for Albert the Black Carabao Espinola. Sa ngayon, nakatungtong na po siya sa kanyang 40th rack. Meron pa rin 9-game uh, advantage dito si Antonio Lining. At tingnan nyo naman yung naging tira kanina. Maganda sana yung out. 
pero nagkaroon ng problema sa sais. At syempre, hindi na po papalagpasin dito ni Albert. And next to break, it's the Black Carabao, Albert Espinola. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. For aspiring members, look for Alex Parker at 0916-466-4695 and have yourself scheduled for screening at Hard Time Sports Bar located at 59D Timog Avenue, Barangay, South Triangle, Quezon City. Sa ngayon, nasa puro na po si Antonio Lining, isa na lang pong kinakailangan dito para makarating sa kanyang ika-50th rack para matapos na po ang ating second day. Pero syempre, uh, itong si Albert Espinola hindi pa po tapos dito. Posible pa pong makahabol, hindi po imposible mangyari na maabot pa ni Albert dito. Nine racks ang kanilang diferensya dito. Kung maka nine straight wins dito si Albert, we're gonna have ourselves a hill-hill match on day two. That break is brought to us by Rapa. Ngayon, kung aalatin lang sa Sargo si Antonio Lining and makapag-break and run out si Albert Espinola every time that uh, he's breaking, yun po ang kinakailangan. He's gonna be bridging over the six. Albert Espinola is not to be denied. 41 racks for the Black Carabao. Parang nag-uunahan pa yung mga bola doon para pumasok. <laughs> so ayan, ang gandang run. Nice run from uh, or by Albert Espinola. Champions. 
battle tested. Engineered to perfection. The tip of the spear. Core Q-tips. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. This coming October 10 to 12, atid po ito sa atin ng Sharks, a three-night event race to 75. First ever in the history of Sharks, magtatapat mixed ang uh, pros natin, mga professional players with our amateurs. So it's Panday, Jericho Banyares with the assassin James Lim versus the Cobra, Jeffrey Ignacio and Ephraim Cruz. That break is brought to us by Rapa. Nice break, distant shot on the two. Hits the two with some inside. Nicely done. Getting good position here on the three. That's right. That's right, Anthony. That was tough. Shot on the one. Made it look easy. Oh, hang on. Haha. <laughs> A miss on the three. We didn't expect that. Oh, my. Muli pong kumakatok yung opportunity dito kay Albert. So miss on the eight. Could have landed well for the nine. He went for it, went for the cut. So this rack belongs to Albert Espinola. Two balls remaining.
Albert survives another rack. 42 racks for the Black Carabao. Okay. So, nagkamintisan dun sa 8. And, ayun, nag-scratch kanina si Antonio Lining. Okay, next to break, it's Albert Espinola. This is a new world of pool. Home of legends. A battleground where top contenders from around the world gather to become champions. A stepping stone for rising stars to prove they have what it takes to rank among the best. Welcome to Sharks. Warmest greetings to the organizers and participants of the Philippine 10 Ball Open. The local government of Quezon City recognizes the value of engaging the youth of our communities in sports as this teaches them important life values such as discipline, teamwork, and dedication. We also appreciate billiards as an inclusive sport where age or gender are not barriers towards success. We hope that this initiative may encourage more Filipinos to train for billiards that they may add to our prestigious roster of world-class athletes. It is therefore with great pride that I welcome you all to the Philippine 10 Ball Open. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. Iyon po ang mensahe ng ating Honorable Mayor Joy Belmonte. So ngayon nasa puro na po, nasa, nasa puro pa rin si Antonio Lining pero patuloy pong nagsuscore dito si Albert Espinola now with 42 racks. Looking to further catch up is Albert Espinola. And that break is brought to us by Rapa. Ball nicely placed. Extension. Extension. Almost a nice reply. Looks like uh, Albert has enough of the one. <coughs> Nicely done.
Wow, there you go. 43 racks, 43 for Albert. Secret Weapon of Champions. Engineered to perfection. Battle tested. A warrior spear. Caw jump cues. Available at Hard Time Sports Bar. Leaning versus Appleton coming soon here at Sharks. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Looking out, uh, looking to close the day is Antonio Lining. shot well if he could get to the two from here then that shot was a perfect shot making the one ball uh, and of course developing a shot on the two Just a stun for the six. And with this, nothing is stopping Antonio Lining to close out day two. we approach the end i would like to thank everyone everybody who's been with us since day one
Antonio Lining officially closes out day two. There you go. Ang ganda pa rin po ng pinakitang laban ni Albert Espinola na kahit na hindi pa siya nakakatikim dito ng lead pero nananatili pong humahabol si Albert. So for day two, magtatapos po tayo sa 50 to 43 scoreline. At bukas po natin matutunghayan ang... Uh, ang final day ng kanilang laban kaya wag na wag niyo pong i-miss out bukas po ng gabi at dito po natin malalaman kung si Antonio Lining nga ba ang mananalo or makakahabol po ba si Albert Espinola thank you guys thank you everybody for watching and we shall see you again on the next one this is AJ Ong and see you again next time